Hello, brilliant learners! What do you know about present continuous? There will be a lot of pausing today, so don't hesitate to pause this video if you need more time to answer my questions. You'll find a link, a file in the description with everything you'll see on this whiteboard today. I'm so glad that I can share my scripts with you. The present continuous is also called present progressive. The words continuous and progressive tell us that something is in progress, is continuing. Let's move to the spelling rules. The structure of this tense is subject, the verb to be in the present simple, and ing. So you add ing to the base form of the verb. Don't forget the auxiliary verb be in the present simple. Add ing to the base form of the verb. In the present simple is I eat. In the present continuous, I'll have to change it. So I'll use the verb be in the present simple, I am. And I'll add the ing to the base form. I am eating. You speak, you're speaking. We do, we're doing. If your verb ends in Y, don't remove the Y. Just add ING. She buys, she is buying. I didn't remove the Y here. They enjoy, they are enjoying. When the verb ends in E, remove the E and then add ING. I make, I will remove this E and it becomes I am making. He drives, he's driving. When the verb ends in double E, add ING. I agree, we're agreeing. She sees, she's seeing. I didn't remove anything. If the verb has two or more syllables, and it ends in consonant, vowel consonant, double the last letter if the last syllable is stressed. I'll give you an example. I run, consonant, vowel, consonant, I'll double the last letter, I'm running. You upset. The last syllable is stressed, upset, and the verb ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. I'll double again. You're upsetting. I'll double the last letter okay but don't double the last letter if this letter is a w or an x we show we're showing the last letter is w i don't have to double the last When the verb ends in IE, remove the IE, add a Y and then ING. He lies, he's lying. I will remove this IE and I will add Y and then ING. The verb lie is to say something untrue or to be in a flat position. They die, they're dying. When the verb ends in C, add a K and then ING. You panic, you're panicking. C, K and then ING. He mimics, he's mimicking. Now, when the verb ends in vowel plus L, you can double this L. In American English, they don't. She travels, she's traveling. This is British English. Or she is traveling one L in American English. To make affirmative sentences in the present continuous, use the subject followed by the verb, the auxiliary verb be in the present simple, M is R, and the verb in ING form. I am trying. You are trying. Continue, please. He is trying. She is trying. 
It is trying. We are trying. You are trying. They are trying. To create the short form, remove the A from um, the A from R, and the I from is, and use an apostrophe in that place. So the short form would be I'm seeing, you're seeing, continue, he's seeing, she's seeing, it's seeing, we're seeing, you're seeing, they're seeing. For the negative sentences, use this construction. Subject, and these are not, and then ing. We have two possible short forms. Repeat after me. I am not eating. You are not eating. He is not eating. She is not eating. It's not eating. We are not eating. You are not eating. They are not eating. And the other possible way to do it is this one. I'm not talking. You aren't talking. Continue, please. He isn't talking. She isn't talking. It isn't talking. We aren't talking. You aren't talking. They aren't talking. If you want to ask a question, use the following order. And these are subject, the verb with ing. Am I looking? Are you looking? Keep going, please. Is he looking? Is she looking? Is it looking? Are we looking? Are you looking? Are they looking? Present continuous, present uses. Use the present continuous with dynamic normal action verbs for things that are happening at the moment of speaking. These things usually last for some time. Dynamic verbs are also called action or normal verbs. Some example dynamic verbs do walk around, play, clean. Dynamic verbs can be used in continuous tenses and describe actions that you see someone doing. What am I doing? Yes, I'm knocking on the whiteboard. You saw me, right? This means that knock is a dynamic verb and can be used in continuous tenses. I'm knocking on the whiteboard. The verb knock is a dynamic verb. What are these people doing right now? What is he doing now? He is cooking. What is he doing? He is dancing. And what is she doing right now? She is drinking coffee. Stative verbs describe states or conditions. They are not used in continuous tenses. Use the present simple. 
They don't indicate any dynamic action. I love my students. The verb love is a stative verb. It shows the emotional state of the subject. The subject doesn't perform any physical action. When you say you love someone, do you perform an action? The hat belongs to her. The verb belong is a stative verb. It can be used in continuous tenses. It shows a state. Some verbs can function as both dynamic and stative verbs, but the meaning changes. The verb have can be used as a stative verb when it means own, possess. He has the key. This means that he owns the key. The key is his. When the verb have means experience, do, eat or drink something, is a dynamic verb. It can be used in continuous tenses. For example, he is having lunch. This means that he eats. She is having a good time. She experiences it. I'm having a bath, a break, a party. I'm doing something. I'm drinking something. The verb think is a stative verb when it means believe. I think it's a fantastic idea. I believe it's a fantastic idea. The verb think can also mean something else. For example, when you use your mind to find the solution, um, you say, I'm thinking about doing something. This is a dynamic verb here. I'm thinking about doing it. I'm using my mind to find an answer to a question, a solution to a problem. The verb smell in the present simple means to have a nice or bad smell. The bread smells good. It has a good smell. The verb smell is a dynamic verb when the meaning is... The verb smell as a stative verb means to have a good or bad smell. The bread... The verb smell as a stative verb means to have a good or bad smell. The bread smells good. It has a good smell. When the verb smell means to sniff, to use your nose to breathe in an odor, is a dynamic verb. She is smelling the flowers. She is sniffing. She is using her nose. The verb be is usually a stative verb. He isn't rude. He isn't rude in general. But it can be used as a dynamic verb when a person is behaving badly, but it's only temporary. Uh, it's not like him or her. He's being rude. He isn't like that, but something happened and he has changed. Use the present continuous for temporary situation. Actions which aren't happening at this moment, but these days, this month, this year. He is eating a lot these days. He usually watches what he eats, but these days something happened. He's working in London for the next two weeks. His base isn't in London. He works in Canada, but the next few weeks he is working in London. Use the present continuous with always, constantly and forever to criticize or complain or to say that something happens very often. I'm always meeting her when I go shopping. This happens very often. You're forever losing your keys. I complain or I criticize. Use the present continuous for changing, developing or growing situations. The climate is changing. Your English is improving. These things are changing or developing. Present continuous, future use. Use the present continuous for fixed arrangements in the future. When the time and place have been decided. I'm doing the early shift this week. We're going to a party tonight. Uh, it's arranged. We are going out. 
Do you remember pausing? It's time to do it now. I'm going to ask some questions. Pause this video if you need more time and use the present continuous to talk about your plans or something that you have arranged to do. Are you cooking anything uh, nice this evening? Are you meeting up with anyone at the weekend? Um, are you doing are you doing anything special this week? Let's review. If you haven't watched my video on present simple, click the link in the description and come back here later. Now, which tense do we use for permanent situations? For something that is happening now? To give instructions or directions? with always, constantly and forever to show annoyance or something that happens very often. For changing situations, with now, right now, at the moment, these days, tonight. With stating verbs, with adverbs of frequency, For habits or routines, for temporary situations, for fixed arrangements in the future, with uh, the time expressions in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon and on the weekends. Well done! Look at the photos and answer the questions. You can pause this video if you need more time to prepare your answer. Use the present continuous for something that is happening now and the present simple for something permanent. Look at photo 19. Where are the children? What are they doing? Look at photo 7. Where do you think this man is? What is he doing? Look at photo 6. What do you think this woman is looking at? What is she doing? Imagine you know the people in photo 17. Tell me who they are, where they are and what they are doing there. Imagine you know the people in photo 13. Tell me a few things about them. Personalities, hobbies and interests. Use the present simple to talk about their personalities. Did you like this video? Did you practice speaking? Hope you did. Thanks for watching. See you next time.